And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to All Sports West New York. Your old buddy Bob Kishinsky back with you on a Tuesday night. Great show lined up for you tonight. I know I say that every week, but we really have got a great show. William Fickner, Western New York native, actor. He's got a blockbuster coming out in August. We'll be talking to him about being a Buffalo sports fan. He's in studio. And then a little later on, another superstar, Nick Walenda, who was the, uh, the topic of a monument erected in his honor on Goat Island yesterday. We'll have more of that coming up a little later on in the show. But first, really uh, excited to have with us William Fickner in studio. Mary Grad grew up in uh, Cheektowaga. Uh, for some reason, he's hanging out with the uh, Buffalo Film Commissioner, Tim Clark, which is probably the most dangerous stunt you've done in your career. Bill. No, you have no idea on the ride over here. Let me tell you something. He's like a tester for brakes. <laughs> okay. I wanted to get you, you, you know, you, first of all, you've been in town for a little while. You're doing some things. Uh, I got to ask you, I mean, you've been everywhere in the world. You've been in exotic film locations. So what still gets you energized when you come back to Buffalo and Western New York? Ah, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's home. It's home. I see my friends. Uh, I see my family. I still have a lot of my families here. Three of my four sisters still live in the Western New York area. Margaret, Patty, Mary, and Pamela, nieces, nephews. But it's home. I, I grew up here. You know, I, I graduated from Maryvale. My mother was originally from Buffalo. My father from Long Island. Um, but uh, he came up to the air base in Niagara Falls and met my mom. And you know, Western New York has, has been my entire life. And as we know, being Western New Yorkers, uh, you know, you hear all these jokes about Buffalo. You know, or you don't hear them as much anymore because there's not a lot to joke about. This town's got it going on. But. Uh, you know, you never hear those from, you know, you never hear jokes that are from people that are from Buffalo because we love Buffalo and uh, and I do, too. And it's always, always good to be back here. Well, it's great to have you back here again. Uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about is, you know, you played a lot of roles in film. You played some sports roles. You were Captain Canauer in Longest Yard, which I'm going to talk to you about in a few minutes. Uh, but you're a huge Bills fan. You're a huge Buffalo Sabres fan. Uh, let's start with the Bills. You know, there's a lot of speculation about what could happen with new ownership. Uh, how, do you, how do you follow the Bills when you're out of town and you're out on the West Coast? And do you hang with anybody who's also a Bills fan? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. You know, when I, a few years ago, 2001, I was shooting a film called Black Hawk Down and I was in Morocco for five months. And I met, uh, you know, probably my best buddy, a Canadian actor named Kim Coates. He plays Tig on the show Sons of Anarchy now. And, and uh, I think he was always a Bills fan, but now, no, he's really a Bills fan now. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you how I, I, I keep in touch with it. For most of the last two years, I've been working on this European television show called Crossing Lines. And we shoot the show in Prague uh, in the Czech Republic. And, and I love it there. And so last year when we, when we went there for nine months, I just got back about a month ago, um, thank God for NFL Game Pass because it's 7 o'clock, Prague time on Sunday nights. Uh, I am live from Orchard Park, and, uh, and I just love it. I've probably watched more Bills this year than any other year in my entire life because, because of NFL Game Pass. I would, you know, even if it was a late game or a West Coast game, I would stay up. and uh, So it, it's been great. It's been really great, especially last year. Very exciting season, even though uh, we didn't make the playoffs. But there's a lot to look forward to for sure. And we've got a scoop for you because this year when you go out to the stadium, prior to the start of the game, we're going to see you in that 1,000-foot uh, scoreboard. I can't wait. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be back in the Czech Republic by that point uh, in time. Uh, I'll find out in the next few days if, uh, if the show is going to get picked up for a third season. But I'll tell you one thing. I have, you know, you know I, I'd, love to, I'd love to run out um, on that field. But I do know uh, a few weeks ago that we... We, uh, we, we, we filmed uh, something for the scoreboard about Buffalo. Um, it wasn't hard to get the emotion behind it about Buffalo and that this is our town, this is our team, and this is our time. Wow, and this is, they expect, you know, we're hoping for better things this year. We've got everybody back. We lost Kiko Alonso, unfortunately, on defense. Unfortunately, but, so, yeah. but what you're saying is if you were in town, you'd love to be the guy with that flag running out ahead oh, of the team. Once in my life. And hopefully uh, it would be great if it was the Miami game, huh? Oh, yeah, that would be, yeah, old rivalries. Uh, 
when you played Captain Canauer in Longest Yard, so now you, you, you were both a prison guard and you had to be a football player. Uh, I, we were talking before we started the show, you played some sports, you played hockey, you know, when you were in high school. Uh, did you have a, a coach, a football coach work with you guys to get you ready for that role? Yeah, sure. We had, uh, we had a couple of, uh, we had a, a lot of arena guys uh, that were there, big guys, excellent players. Um, uh, you know, we had people like Bill Romanowski and um, well, we had some, you know, former NFL uh, standout players for sure. Uh, but the quarterbacks coach for Adam Sandler and myself uh, was Sean Salisbury, um, ESPN announcer. And uh, I believe Sean played with the, the Vikings, correct? Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah, for years. Uh, yeah, the guy blew my shoulder out for like two years. I, I was sore for two years afterwards. <laughs> I remember one day they used to they used to count how many passes, you know, because they do that with uh, NFL players. Right. Yeah, how many passes? That's it for the day. I remember one day I hit like 150 some, and I think that's a bit too much for a guy that never played quarterback before, but. Uh, but being in a sports movie like that is obviously. You know. Well, what's cool for guys my age is you were, Burt Reynolds was in that movie and he was, of course, in the original, which is sure. a classic. So you got to, got to meet uh, the guy who made the original. Yeah, got to meet Burt. Got to meet a lot of, a lot of interesting. Uh, you see a lot of behind the scenes, even making a movie, the whole mash tent, the whole medical thing that keeps these guys in shape and going. It's, it's, it's quite an operation to, uh, to pull that off. I'll tell you one thing, I had, I had, a, I had a stunt guy that would come in and, and there would be some plays where Captain Canauer just got creamed and, and those monsters on the defensive side of the line, they would fly over the line and just, I would watch my guy and I'd think, oh, oh, <laughs> thank you so much for making me look so good. And then they'd say, okay, it's a close up. So I would go back in, you know, and get behind center. But before I got behind the center, I went down that defensive line going, whoa, whoa, it's me. <laughs> Next guy, it's me. Everybody know the actor's yeah. in there now. Nobody's <laughs> jumping over. I don't need 360 pounds laying me out. Have speed. Uh, <laughs> let's let's ch uh, change gears here to hockey because you were you played hockey. I know you're a big NHL. You're a huge Buffalo Sabre fan. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, love the Sabres. Uh, you know, as I was mentioning, Czech Republic before because it's great to be around in the Czech Republic, uh, such a small country of 10 million people has a 14-team pro league and. I believe there are 29 players in the Czech Republic playing in the NHL now. So I, I, I get my hockey fix back there. Um, but, uh, but the Sabres are the Sabres. And, and you know, it, at this point in time, they've certainly given, a, given us, a, you know, a lot to smile about over the years. We, we love our Sabres, like we love our Bills. Uh, and this is the rebuild. And in the last week alone, you know, I mean, if, it's pretty clear about the commitment about what's going on with the Sabres. And, uh, and the people that are coming in, you know, Josh Georges and, and, and other folks and the moves that they're making. And, and this, is, this is tough, but this is a tough, you know, tough time for a fan, especially in the last year, you know, to go through everything we've gone through and the people we've let go. But, you know, the eye on the prize is a bigger picture and, and uh, we gotta believe that uh, the powers that be, you know, have the best interest of the team in mind. And, and I believe that, and I think it's evident in the last few days. So, you know, just like the Bills, I. It's not like we're sitting at, you know, like, geez, our team was, was, you know, was three years ago and now we don't know what's going on. We have a lot to look up to for the next few years for both teams. I, I believe that. Have you ever had the opportunity to skate with the team? No, 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 I never have with, uh, with the Sabres. Um, Maybe Tim Clark can make that happen. Tim Clark can make that happen. If Tim shows Clark can make anything happen in Western New York. They'll just have to show him where Western the arena is. Western New York is. film commissioner, Tim right. Clark, my buddy. They'll just have to show him where the arena is because he's not a big sports guy. We're going to be back he'll, with he'll Bill Fisher. pull right on the sidewalk, I know. <laughs> he knows Tim. We'll be back with more with Bill Fichtner right after this.